Hey everyone, it's Paul Sun Hyung Lee here again with another unboxing video. Welcome to my geeky basement as I unbox this today. It is the Darth Vader helmet accessory from Anovos. Alright, first a little bit of background about Anovos. They're a company that's based out of the United States and they specialize in replica prop and costume recreations. So they'll go out, they'll secure a license, an official license in this case from Lucasfilm and Star Wars, and they'll get screen used items like helmets and costume pieces. They'll digitally scan them, break them down and recreate them and then sell them to the fans. Okay, first impressions. This box is a lot larger than the boxes Anovus usually ships their helmets out in. Uh, it probably has to do with the fact that uh, Vader's helmet skirts out. Uh, to put it into perspective, this is um, one of the regular sized helmets and uh, you can see the, the size difference in the boxes here. Now this here is a first order TK or first order Stormtrooper uh, from The Force Awakens that I ordered um, last year and it actually showed up, surprise, surprise. Um, so that's that's the difference in size here. And um, yeah, it's a behemoth, so let's get started opening this up. Well, it is a box within a box. Let me just spin this around here so you guys can actually see what it is here. This is, it says here, Star Wars. If you can see this right here, Star Wars Darth Vader fiberglass helmet. All right, so I think I'm gonna hold box within a box in a plastic bag. Okay, look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. Right here. Beautiful, All right? Star Wars, Darth Vader, fi Vader fiberglass helmet. It is officially licensed full scale replica, right? It's replicated from details utilizing 3D scanning and references from the original piece. It's durable fiberglass construction. <clears throat> it's got, um, Regular pull tab here. I was a little bit worried actually because um, I heard that the new Mandalorian helmets that they were shipping out, uh, they'd kind of gone skimpy with the packaging, that a lot of it was just, it was in a bag with a bunch of uh, styrofoam peanuts. And, um, you know, that sort of made my heart sink. Like, I understand they have to keep costs down, but uh, when, you're, when you're shipping fiberglass helmets, even though they're durable, you don't want them to get destroyed while they're being shipped. So I'm very, very happy to see that these. It has a similar packaging to the one that I got from the, the seller on eBay. So I think this just lifts right out. Big, big piece of styrofoam, you can see, look at that. And then, ooh, there it is. There's the other helmet. And you can see that it is quite nicely packed in there. And it's much, it's very similar, almost exactly to the way the one that I got on eBay was. Now it is attached somewhere down here. Uh, there is tape. If you can see that, there's some tape here to secure it in place. It feels like it's actually attached some some other way. Although it could be the magnetic clasp on the top. It is a two-piece helmet, um, and so let's see if I can get this out without wrecking it. Okay, so. Here it is, it's out of the styrofoam, and ah, it is, you can see, it's zip tied down to this bar, right, and that's the, to ensure its collectability, although I've just sort of ruined it by opening it up, although I think a lot of sellers would say that it's okay, uh, you know, boxes only open to verify contents, not that I'm going to be reselling this particular one, it is a collectible, but um, I like to display my pieces, I don't think, um, you know, when I have the room, it's good to to, uh, to display them. But uh, collectibles are meant to be shown and not just tucked away in boxes. So I'm just gonna go through. I'm gonna get a pair of cutters and cut those open, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll take take it out. Four, two. That's it. No turning back. I've done it. I've ruined its resale value. 
I'm a horrible human being. Just, ah, ah, ah. There you go, it just lifts out. As you can see, they had it zip ties. Look under, looked underneath here, there's a styrofoam insert. Now there's a magnet, there should be a magnet here um, that will keep it attached to this portion of the helmet. <clears throat> Got the dome portion, right? In here, you can see it's a recessed hole. Now, you're never gonna see it, but they've uh, punched two holes where those zip ties went through, they secure it, and uh, it looks it looks ugly. It's not the best, but you're never gonna see everybody. Stuff like that bothers you? Mm. All right. And now for the mask piece itself. Should just lift out. Hopefully. There you go. So it's a two piece set. You can see on the inside. Oh, it's padded. You can see the grating here. The eye pieces, they are tinted. There's an adjustable headband in here. So you can fit it to your head because this is a wearable prop as are most of Nova's things. There you go, yeah. bigger, smaller. What happens is, <clears throat> Rare earth magnets in here, or metal, and then they connect, they'll connect top to bottom. There, hey, success. So here you have it, and that's, uh, that's secure. This is a Darth Vader helmet. It's heavy, it's fiberglass, uh, real aluminum uh, pieces, bits, greeblies. Uh, again, it is uh, smoke, smoked or tinted um, lenses in it. Um, it's based on the Empire Strikes Back version, based on based on all the the Greeblies that you see here, right? Um, I'm gonna try it on. Got to. And there you have it, an unboxing. Wait, yes, an unboxing. So join me next time, and if you like this video, click like and subscribe on the link below. Here are my final thoughts on the Innovo Darth Vader fiberglass helmet that I received. It is a very, very solid piece. It's beautifully crafted. Uh, I love it because of the attention to detail, as one would expect from a company that has access to 3D scans of screen-used helmets. Um, again, the, the aluminum bits are, are a nice touch. Uh, there are little imperfections in it that I quite like. Um, the fact that, you know, it's got the little dent in here, a little notch. It's asymmetrical, meaning it was handcrafted more, more than likely. Um, I, I like having it in my collection. Uh, was it worth three years of waiting? Um, well, you know, uh, that's up to the, to the eye of the beholder. I'm glad I have it though. Um, now I have two. One's probably going to be going up on sale for eBay. Uh, but it's, it's, uh, a delightful piece to have in your collection. And if you want to wear it, you can wear it. If you want to build the cosplay around it, most definitely you can do that. But uh, just be warned, it's super heavy. Um, and uh, yeah, it is really, really uh, like a Novos. It takes a while to get to you, but the quality is usually top notch. Thanks once again for tuning in and watch me unbox geeky things in my geeky basement. It's a steep learning curve. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do more of these and get better at doing them. But once again, from me to you, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. In this crazy time of COVID-19, be safe, be healthy, know that you're loved, and we're all going to get through this together. Okay, see you.